always wondered how the relic gets from the departed body to the reliquary. Is that is that somebody's job? How do you get? How does the bone, the toenail, the hair actually get there? It's kind of a nuts and bolts There's, question. There actually is an order of nuns in Rome that does that. So in the case, wow. uh, in the case there, I was we were sharing. I was sharing in the back in Philadelphia. There is there are several saints buried uh, of American origin. So Mother Catherine Drexel's tomb is near in the suburbs, and in the city is St. John Neumann, who was the fourth bishop of Philadelphia. And for years, they would go into the body and remove a piece of the thigh bone, and then take that to Rome and shave it off. And then they would make relics out of that. Now, my students used to always get there was more glue than relic <laughs> on it, but it was definitely a tiny piece of bone. I know a student of mine, in fact, who was afflicted with blob with cancer of the eye, wrote to the do several orders in Rome and was sent first class relics. A first class relic is an actual piece, maybe all I'm sure many of you know this, a piece of the body of the saint, an actual piece of the body, and was sent many of those relics back in the mail to help him with, with his uh, healing, huh. interestingly enough. So there really are, that is still very much going on today in Rome, that belief, even though some order, like Mother Catherine Drexel, I wanted to know where can I get a relic of Mother Catherine Drexel, and they said that, in fact, that the order doesn't really like that, and because people are alive who knew her, they have not exhumed her body. In the case of John Neumann, they did exhume his body, and that's when they took the relics, and that was more of an Italian-German order that was into that sort of thing. 